Tesla's AI Day promised to be a tour de force of the company's FSD strategies and most ambitious projects, and it definitely did not disappoint. Elon Musk noted that AI Day was designed to boost recruitment. And considering how well the event has been received by those familiar with the bleeding edge of tech and computing, it would not be surprising if Tesla's AI team sees substantial growth in the near future. Let's get into all the amazing innovations that Tesla showcased at the event. So let's get started. The most amazing innovation showcased by Tesla was the Tesla bot. Tesla announced that it is actually going to make a humanoid robot called Tesla bot, and it will be able to grab your groceries for you and perform other menial tasks. Tesla will launch the Tesla bot prototype in 2022, Elon Musk announced during the event. After jokingly walking out a human in the Tesla bot uniform, Elon Musk said, the Tesla bot will be real. He detailed some of the tasks that the robot will be able to complete, including grocery runs, picking up household objects, and other everyday commands. The robot will be 5 feet 8 inches tall and 125 pounds. It will include a screen on the face of the bot to display useful information. Additionally, it will have human-level hands. The extremities operate using 40 electromechanical actuators with two feet and force feedback sensing for balance and agility. Elon Musk joked that it may be able to run up to 5 miles per hour. The Tesla bot will also utilize some of the company's AI devices that are operational on the company's vehicles. Autopilot cameras will essentially act as the vision for the Tesla bot, while a full self-driving computer will function as the internal organs of the robot, helping it to operate and function as a productive member of the household. It will utilize multi-camera video neural networks, identical to what was detailed during the company's AI event. Additionally, neural net planning, labeling, simulation, and tools will also be used to help the Tesla bot operate effectively and efficiently while accurately performing tasks. The Tesla bot won't be available until next year, Elon Musk said, especially as the robot will utilize the Dojo supercomputer's training mechanisms to improve functionality. It seems that Tesla's idea for the robot is to decrease the need to perform tasks by yourself. There will be no shortage of labor, Musk said about the future, but physical work will simply be a choice. The Tesla bot's purpose could eliminate the need to perform minimal, mindless tasks around the house. For the Tesla bot, it's going to start with work that is boring and repetitive, basically work that a person would least like to do, Elon Musk added. Elon Musk further said, things that I think are very hard about having a useful humanoid robot is, can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained? without explicit line-by-line -line instructions. Can you talk to it and say pick up that bolt, attach it to the car with that wrench? It should be able to do that. The development of the robot seems to be a responsibility of Musk's, especially as the CEO has been critical of AI's potential power in the past. On an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, Musk once warned that AI could become increasingly dangerous if overdeveloped, especially as its mind and memory are terrifically powerful. Don't expect to see the robot on Tesla's production lines either. Musk said the parts were there, and Tesla decided to make it. If we don't, someone else would, so I guess we should probably make it. And make it safe, Elon Musk said. The next announcement was regarding the Dojo Neural Network training. It was then no surprise that Tesla's AI date became a notable topic in numerous social media platforms such as Twitter, with several experts expressing their excitement about the company's AI-driven projects. One of these was former ARK Invest analyst James Wang, who dubbed AI Day as probably the greatest technology presentation since 2007. Wang also stated that the event was an absolute masterclass on AI. Later comments asked the former ARC analyst about his thoughts on using the Dojo supercomputer's neural network training as a service, possibly for other companies that are also looking to develop self-driving technologies, and possibly even more. Surprisingly, Elon Musk actually chimed in, 
confirming that Tesla would indeed be offering such a service in the future. This makes quite a lot of sense, considering that Dojo would be the most powerful supercomputer in the world when it's completed. During Tesla's discussions about Dojo, the company noted that the supercomputer is built with multiple aspects, such as a simulation architecture, which Tesla hopes could be expanded for a more universal use. Elon Musk said, this is not intended to be just limited to Tesla cars. Those of you who have seen the full self-driving beta can appreciate the rate at which the Tesla neural net is learning to drive. And this is a particular application of AI, but I think there's more applications down the road that will make sense. The Dojo supercomputer is still being built, though Musk noted that he expects the massive computer to be operational next year. Once deployed, Tesla owners could expect much faster improvements on their vehicle's capabilities and features, especially with regards to autopilot and the full self-driving suite. The next announcement was regarding the the most awaited Tesla vehicle ever, the Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck will not only debut a revolutionary manufacturing process, it will also be the first vehicle in the company's lineup to be equipped with Tesla's Hardware 4 computer. Hardware 4 is the successor to the custom Hardware 3 computer that's currently being deployed to the company's vehicles today. Comments about the Hardware 4 computer were made by Tesla CEO Elon Musk during AI Day, which featured an in-depth discussion on the company's AI-driven initiatives. While answering some questions from attendees at the event, Musk remarked that a Hardware 4 or FSD computer too would be introduced in the future. This unit would be a step up from the already impressive Hardware 3, both in performance and safety. According to Elon Musk, Hardware 4 will be introduced in the Tesla Cybertruck in a year or so. Musk later noted that with Hardware 3, Tesla's self-driving systems could perform about 300% safer than a human, but for Hardware 4, this number could increase to 1,000%. Despite Elon Musk's mention of a 2022 release for Hardware 4, Cybertruck will probably not be delayed until the FSD Computer 2 is ready. Most likely, Tesla would simply start the Cybertruck's production with its existing Hardware 3 computer and have the vehicles upgraded to Hardware 4 when the components are ready. This was the strategy that Tesla adopted when it transitioned from Hardware 2.5 to Hardware 3. As for those who purchased a full self-driving suite and whose Cybertrucks are equipped with Hardware 3, Tesla may likely roll out a retrofit program similar to how the company handled Model 3 owners who purchased the FSD suite and whose vehicles were fitted with Hardware 2.5. So those were all the key announcements from Tesla at the event. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.